Good morning to all. Today we shall be discussing about environmental communication and public awareness. Environmental communication can be defined as the study and practice of how individuals, institutions and society distribute, receive and understand the use and use message about the environment and human interactions with the environment. This includes a wide range of possible interactions from interpersonal communications to participatory decision making and environmental media coverage. As an academic field, environmental communications from inter interdisciplinary work involving communication, environmental studies, environmental science, risk analysis and management, sociology and political ecology. Public awareness with respect to the environment is the ability of the, to understand the surrounding world by the mass people, including understanding to all the changes occurring in the environment, understanding the cause and effect of harmful measures, relationship between the quality of the environment and human behavior, and developing a sense of responsibility of preserving them. Public awareness plays the major role in creating the consciousness amongst mass to conserve and also to protect the sustainability of the environment. Some features of the public awareness are as follows. The polluting source reduction through active cooperation of everyone at every level of social organization is needed for issues concerning the environment. Human activities are causing many kinds of uh, environmental pollutions for which public awareness is necessary. Some of the activities include use of pesticides, improper use of fertilizers and chemicals in the environment, deforestation, etc. Okay? That means a number of uh, polluting sources, uh, po pollutants are being generated by the mankind. So, in order to minimize the uh, extent of uh, such generation, pollutant generation, human public awareness is very much required. Any government at its own level cannot achieve uh, the goal of sustainable development until the public has a participatory role on the ground level, isn't it? This is very, uh, this is a very fact one. That is, uh, until unless the people at the ground level they participate, they, then the uh, sustainability of the environment or sustainable development can be achieved. The general public should be an integral part of the various educational and environmental awareness programs so that they develop in them the attitude, skill, knowledge and participate in various tasks and campaigns. That means, see, mostly the workers or the people who uh, work in the factories and in the farms, mostly they are uh, not much educated or they don't uh, they cannot they could not um, maybe due to some of the other reasons they cannot go for higher studies so for in that regard they have, they have this uh, uh, the they have this lack of knowledge regarding the uh, various use of the chemicals and how they affect the environment and how not and what are the ways they can mitigate it so for that the public awareness is very much important okay such a uh, via develop different educational and environmental awareness program it ca they can be imbibed with the attitude, the skill, knowledge and uh, the uh, wish, the will to participate in the various tasks and campaigns for con con conserving the environment. Okay. Planning related to effect and control measures of the environmental pollution can be enhanced via awareness campaigns. Okay. So, uh, formulation of plans. Okay. And implementation of plans, okay, both require the uh, active uh, contribution of the uh, individuals at the ground level. So, in that, uh, so the it can be achieved through awareness campaigns only. Public awareness plays a very important role in the developing concerns, finding out measures, active participation of the public in saving the environment. To know the root cause and contributing factors of a problem related to the environment solves half of the problem, isn't it? If we know the problem of uh, something, we know, if we know the problem, then yes, the solution can be found out. Okay. So the public awareness leads to the understanding, delishing, and developing of will to actively participate for the conservation of the environment through the various awareness programs, campaigns. Okay. Uh, when a person is aware of the uh, harm that is he or she is doing into the environment, I think he or she. If he, uh, if he is a good individual, then obviously they will uh, actively uh, s support or uh, actively participate into the pro process of uh, providing this conservation efforts. Okay? Some of the measures include proper flaming, family planning, sustainable use of resources, afforestation. Okay? That means uh, if uh, through the public awareness, the active cooperation of the individuals is demanded. Okay. The objectives of uh, public awareness are as follows: to reach out the individuals at the grassroots level, which is very much important; the, to conserve the nature and natural resources; to maintain ecological balance; to adopt appropriate measures for solving existing environmental problems. Okay. First and foremost, we know that the people mostly who are working in the fields and the factories are uh, don't know much about the. Uh, consequences of the uh, different type of products they are using or different type of uh, raw materials 
that are handling. So in that regard, we it is very much important to reach them out and uh, to reach to them and then to uh, educate them or uh, okay to t uh, tell them about the different aspects the pros and cons of the situations and the impact that uh, that c c could be uh, uh, having on the environment so in that regard uh, reaching out to the grassroots level is very much important uh, okay need for public awareness increasing population urbanization and poverty has generated pressures on the natural resources and led to degradation of the environment okay so you can see these are the various uh, measure, uh, measure po uh, topics okay on which uh, uh, the contents have been already made okay such as increasing population how does it affect the environment urbanization how does it affect the environment and poverty okay all these three have generated pressures on the natural resources and lead to the degradation of the environment after the scientific and industrial revolution in the recent past there has been immense impact on man's on its environment over exploitation of natural resources, burning of fossil fuels, industries and vehicular emissions are creating havoc. In case of agriculture activities, widespread use of insecticides, pesticides, improper use of fertilizers and chemicals in the environment are some others contributing factors degrading the environment and the organism. So this, inter this led to the requirement of the uh, public awareness programs. Okay. Now how to aware? Ever, okay. How to aware? So, so first is your awareness programs that is reaching out to the people, awareing about the cause and effects of issues related to the environment and how they can contribute their part in saving the environment. That is your environmental education at various levels, okay, education levels starting from the lower education level to the higher education level, okay, starting about the uh, facts related to the uh, various of various uh, uh, topics concerning the environment, okay, and how to uh, develop and develop and uh, how to mitigate those things okay that is developing of the skills okay acquiring knowledge attitude developing of skills and then the willingness to achieve participation par can be achieved through environmental education and awareness programs then mass media mass media media plays a very important role in today's world okay they can reach out to a number of people in, within a span of time so such as tv programs radio newspapers social media etc the various uh, programs awareness campaigns can be observed Seminars and conference, sharing of uh, one's knowledge and expertise, discussion and raising concerns about an issue and highlighting possible solutions. Case okay, uh, done mostly through the seminars and conferences where mostly the uh, experts meet in a particular place and then they discuss about their uh, respective topics. Okay, so I think this is a very good way. In this, uh, in this, we can uh, communicate through various sections of the society and sh um, have knowledge on certain issues and we can contribute our part or our research thinkings okay entertainment folk songs street plays and documentaries to the to we know the, there are a um, number of folk songs which are related to which are related to that of the conservation of environment okay and sometimes the street plays documentaries also do a very good uh, is are also a very good measure of uh, educating the people or awareing the people okay movements mostly in favor of the environment okay if uh, suppose we have seen the various type of movements in the early video lectures okay so this sort of uh, uh, things can help aware the public okay and uh, uh, in favor of the environment so if you have any queries do let me know and thank you very much